right, Earth signs, you are up. Let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is a little weekend reading for you. Let's see what wants to come through. What messages, please, for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. If you're interested in understanding your birth chart a little bit better, if you're confused about this whole sun, moon, rising, and Venus thing, check out my class next week. It's on Tuesday. I'll drop a link in the description box below if you're interested. All right, let's see. Ah, Starseed. Hmm, we haven't talked about that much. Befriend your fear monster. Trust and act accordingly. All right, so I feel like some of you might be having some experiences soon about waking up to who you are. I think it might be a little bit um, freaky. All right, some of you could be uh, coming across a relationship that kind of opens up your awareness of, you know, as a spiritual awakening for you it could be a, a, you know, a way of seeing yourself. This person really brings out, it could be, it could be a little scary for you. And I, I feel like uh, trust is going to be a chat. Trust will be challenged here. When you're going through this trust, your trust will be challenged. So let's see what's going on here. This feels like a cool opening though. All right, you might be afraid of it, but I don't think there's a reason to be afraid of it. I think this is testing your ability to trust. Knight of Swords underneath. Ah, star energy. Ace of Cups. Temperance. So Aquarius and Sag. There's Leo energy. Strength, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Look at that. Tower, Four of Cups, and the Queen of... Okay. So there's a person here, Leo, Sag, Aries, or Aquarius. And I feel like this person um, opens you up. I don't feel like you've had this kind of experience before. Okay. This person is really... Uh, it seems like it starts off in the beginning of it. Let's see. Um, let me do one thing here. Let me ask about a timing element. Mm. Okay. So we're getting the 10 of Pentacles, which is 10 years, which is. So here's the thing. You could have known this person for quite a long time. You're seeing them in a new light. You could see this person as a life partner. Um and I feel like they're a spiritual, like almost like an angel. I feel like I'm, okay, say what you want. But I feel like this person has a kind of angelic presence. And this person definitely has magic. They are a healer. They're a teacher. They're a guide. They're a shaman. They're a mystic. They're something like that. This person is, you're going to be like a little bit like, wow, wowed by this person. Like I said, you might already know this person. You may have grown up with this person and then they have stepped into it in their life. They've stepped into their magical, uh, angelic energy. This person could also have had a big change in their life happen. And like their life has completely taken on a new course, a new direction that they didn't see coming. This was like, almost like, have you ever heard of walk-ins? People who go through harrowing experiences and another soul kind of steps in to take over. You could be dealing with a person like that who has become like almost an angelic presence. This person could also be a star seed or be opening to this. They could be somebody who is um, finding out who they are. I feel like you are skeptical at first, okay? At first, I feel like you're giving them a lot of reasons for what's going on in their life. Now, this could all be flipped around. This could be you having some kind of spiritual awakening and people around you going, oh, really? Okay, that's nice, but not really embracing it. And you're like, wait a second, I'm telling you something that this is really powerful. And they're like, oh, okay. But here's the thing, um, whatever happens here, the more you look at it, the more you kind of 
look and see what's going on with you, the dreams, the, you know, signs and symptoms of spiritual awakening, the more you kind of look into it, I feel like you're going to get a, a real wake up call. Okay. A big time. Like this is definitely what's going on with me. You might hear an interview with a person. You might hear a conversation about spiritual path. You're getting drawn to all kinds of information on the web. At first, it might be a little daunting. You might be a little afraid of it. I do think you have a helper here, though. There's someone coming into your life or back into your life who knows what this is about. Okay. Who's been through this and you might resist them initially. All right. You might res look at that page of pentacles, knight of wands, nine of swords, four of wands. So this person is going to tell you about their, like you're going through this page of pentacles. They've been through it. Page of pentacles. Okay. Um, the knight of wands, uh, Knight of Swords experience, wanting to get away from it, can't do it, anxiety in the middle of the night, Four of Wands person could be, uh, could be a life partner for you. And I feel like they have, they, whatever you have going on, you can trust them. You can tell them what's happening to you. And they're not going to put you down. They're not going to make you feel like you're crazy. They're not going to make you feel, um, this person feels like home. This person feels like home to you. If you have searched for home a lot in your life, congratulations, you're going to get home. Um, I'm going to do one more thing with this tower energy. King of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. You guys are helping each other. All right. This, there's a there's a point in time in this connection where you just realize that this is what you're here to do. So I'm not likening you to Mary Magdalene and Jesus, but I'm just going to use them as a as a story backdrop here. OK, I mean, you could be, but just hear me out. So there's a movie, Mary Magdalene, I think. Um, I can't remember who plays Jesus. Uh, I'll think of it in a second. But anyway, she is you know, living life with her family, they're fishermen, she's dealing with the nets, she's dealing with all of her brothers, she's dealing with her own spiritual awakening. And um, the family is not super high on women or girls praying or being part of that life. It's just like not a thing at the time, right? We're talking about uh, first century in uh, Galilee, first century in the Middle East. They're not hip to it. And so, um, they try to marry her off. It's obvious that she's getting older and they're trying to older. She's probably 20. <laughs> they're trying to marry her off. And she's like, I can't, this is not my life. This is not my life. And Jesus comes into town with his, um, followers. And right away, she's like, yep, this is it. And it blows apart her family, her life, what she's doing. It blows that apart. But she's like, I just got to follow this. I know, I know that this is where I'm supposed to be. And so she goes and, you know, takes her, her bedroll and follows Jesus and her family. Nothing is the same after that. She's enlightened. She's, she's just, there's light coming from her inside. She's figured out who she really is. And I think that this person is going to have that impact on you. Really big impact of this is who I'm meant to be. I now know who I'm meant to be. That's a lot. It's not like they're telling you. They're not saying, oh, this is who you are. Or this is what your mission is. It's not like that. It's more just that they're, your energy with this person's energy is giving you those, those messages. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're the one who's like awakening in the middle of the night going, oh my, holy cow. Like this is really something um, magical. This is, and at first I think you really resist this. I think you do. And I'm not surprised because this is going to change your way of life. It's going to change how you do everything. Um, if you have been somebody who reads or has experienced, not experienced, not experienced, has, you know, your faith or your uh, idea of God or what, however you're experiencing your spiritual path 
out here, like a, um, like being objective about a thing, seeing it as separate from you, you're now going to see it as you. It's no longer separate from you. It's no longer like, okay, this is my philosophy about religion or my spirituality. This is my philosophy about X, Y, and Z. This is how I look at money. This is how I look at work. All of a sudden it becomes you. It like takes you over, but it feels like home. So you know there's not toxicity to it. There's not hurt or difficulty associated with it. It can trigger quite a bit of anxiety that you're being sort of uh, opened up. And I feel like this person, this king of queen of wands, king of wands experience, you're there as a queen of pentacles. Like, I don't think you trusted at first, right? Trust and act accordingly. But look, look at her face. She's looking back at that guy like, can I trust this guy? Let's see. All right, let's see where we go with this. Uh, I'm going to drop a link below if you want to continue on with the reading. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos. <laughs>